Geisen has done a phenomenal thing. He has recreated Super Mario Odyssey in Mario Maker 2. And look, you got little moons. And if, if you don't know, I absolutely adore Odyssey. Like recently, I was just thinking about my blind Let's Play, the supercut of Odyssey, if you will. And wow, what a wonderful experience that was. I feel like this is supposed to be a Mario. God, I would give anything to play it blind again. It was just such a wondrous experience. And maybe Odyssey 2? But until then, we got Odyssey 2D. Oh, wait, this is the, the the course select. So you have all the maps you can go to. And up here, I assume this is just like a globe. Did they patch out Delfino off this globe too? It's the Odyssey. Oh my God, that's so clever. A window, you got all kinds of stuff that I can collect and a moon. Wait, I didn't mean to hit the shuffle button on this. I feel like that's gonna be a time loss. All right, well, we have learned that we go down. You're kidding me. How did I have a time loss on a music level? Uh, I don't feel like I need all these bonus houses, but I appreciate the thought behind them. Reach the goal after grabbing five coins. Oh wait, the 10 coins represent moons because you only need like X amount of moons to move on to the next world. Oh, that's smart. Oh, this is the fountain and everything. They are just making hub worlds essentially. Oh, that's so neat. I was pretty skeptical. People just said, hey, you gotta try Odyssey. You like Odyssey and don't get me wrong. I love Odyssey, but I, I didn't expect something this cool. And I'm just uh, very happy to see this of all things. Oh, this is the castle. God, Mario Maker art is so hard to do and they made it look so good. <gasps> and it's like the little scarecrow that gives you the bridge up to the top. I'm just gushing over this game like it's Mario Odyssey for the first time. Like, I don't even have punchlines. I'm just in genuine awe, which I feel like is a lot of what my first Odyssey run was. It's so funny that this, of all things, makes me desperate for Odyssey 2. Like, it could happen. It could happen this year. Galaxy 1 and Galaxy 2 are actually three years apart, so I'm just saying. Maybe there's a reason they didn't do DLC for Odyssey. They just scrapped it and made a whole new game. <laughs> uh, please. Oh, it's the shop. Don't kill me, please. I just want to buy your goods. Is that, that's it. I don't want to pull a Karen or anything, but buy one, get one death is not really a great deal. Even Walmart does something better. They'll trample you on Black Fridays. Ooh, just now remember there's a timer. God, I was just taking my time and I... No, I know game. You don't need to remind me. Oh, they're like little challenge rooms. Okay. Uh, well, I would participate in more of these, but I, I just don't think I have the time. Okay, that's all the time I've got. I gotta get back to playing. Super Mario Odyssey. God, it's a shame that they didn't feature the moon where he just jumped 10,000 times in front of Toadette. Minute and a half, huh? All right, so that was the first kingdom. I guess they're not going in order of the, the game, but rather start with Mushroom. Then I assume Cat Kingdom is next. Nice. So, okay, that's the cutscene. We saw Bowser fight and now we fell. I'm glad that they included the skip cutscene button because that just made everything so much easier. I really like the monochrome aesthetic. Because you gotta make that somehow, and, you know, just get hit by the Paragoombas, as you do. What is the boot for? Does that just represent that I can, like, summon Goombas? Like, I, instead of Cappy becoming them, I just become the boot? And what is this little secret up here? Nothing. I assume we're gonna have a little brutal fight. I don't remember, oh, the green one? Oh, he has hats, and I guess that's being replaced by these? I, am I understanding things correctly? Oh, oh, oh my god, going through the door is just like a capture door, and now I gotta control the Goomba remotely. That is so genius, but where am I? And that's the end. Well, that's clever. It's gonna get a little tiring if I have to do that after every single capture, but I at least respect what they went for. They made it as Odyssey as they could, but what if they just added an Odyssey? Wouldn't that have been nice? Oh, Mario Maker 3, though, I feel it coming in. Now we got our first brutal fight. Much like the first brutal fight, uh, NES Boom Boom is kind of a bitch, despite getting hit three times right there. Because... I have to do all that again. What I was trying to say is that if you just jump on Boom Boom, much like that, he will just go into the shell and then just jumps again. And you can jump on him right there. It's honestly a little impressive how simple the strat is, and yet I overcomplicate it. Look at this. Okay, now he's gonna shell, and oh, it's 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 that simple. It's that simple. Why? No, no, no. I was in control of that situation, much like how you're in control of pressing that sub button. They just really put an air horn in my content in year 2020. If you unsubscribe for that, yeah, I get it. And woo! Oh, it's the electric wire off to uh, Cascade Kingdom. Oh, look at little dinosaur mouth. 
And they're always gonna play galaxy music because we don't really have a lot of options, but Cascade Kingdom slaps so much. Oh, it's the waterfall. It's, it's water going up and down. God, Mario Maker art is like something else. Oh, and we got the rusted Odyssey we can't get into. Um, what if they just put a T-Rex in this game? What if somehow no one noticed, but you could be a T-Rex all along through Mario Maker? <laughs> Yo, I can't even lie. Chain Chop had the absolute reeds on me. What the? What is this? I've never heard that sound effect before. Wait, that means capture. They always do that little sound effect, that visual effects when you capture. Are they building a dinosaur? God, the graphics of this game are so good. Cascade Kingdom 2, which I assume this is just a boss fight. Oh, it's the shop again, but, but no one's here. That's just considered shoplifting. Is this gonna be another dinosaur mission? Oh, well, I just found a key. Oh, wait, the Z, 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 the dinosaur is asleep. Oh, that makes so much more sense. Oh, this is the Madame Brutal. This is it. Oh, look, bunny face. See, oh, the red coins were just her eyes. It wasn't even like a key I was looking for. Oh, so we throw the shell up there. Oh, and the icicle turns it back on. That's so smart. This isn't like a really dangerous boss fight, but I think I can respect it just because it's innovative. It's cool. Okay, I see the challenge now. Oh, the music shift. Oh, that wasn't, <laughs> that wasn't very pretty. We had to do one. Oh no, there it is. And then we sign off by going into the Odyssey every single time. And if I am correct, we are onto the desert to play through Sand Kingdom. I say that as if I'm setting up for a joke, but there's no, no punchline here. I'm just gonna go into the castle. Oh, and the little flagpole's right here. Oh, and now we gotta go get those moons. That's so neat. That's like clear conditions suck, but I think it's cool in this scenario. I do like how they committed to this uh, frozen desert, which, you know, that was a thing in Odyssey. Everyone knows about it by now, but like, what a cool theme that no one ever talks about. Is this the tower? Oh, this is the 2D section of the tower. Well, it's at least cool that you can build those easily. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Oh, it's, it's the jump. It's the bullet bill jump. Oh, pretend I, I jumped on him for that. Oh, I almost made that. Wait, this is the inverted pyramid. Oh, it's so funny because I forget this part is in the game since I speed ran Odyssey. Like so many moons in the game, I just genuinely forgot about. That's why I like playing levels because I just observe and I write notes so I can torture people with my levels. Like no matter how innocent a feature is, I am like, yeah, I can twist that somehow. Okay, well, they're mobile now. Okay, we get it. Oh, wait, you bounce it and then the cannon falls off and the little cannon is holding the larger... Oh, that's sick. Okay, off the pyramid, we've collected all five and please tell me this just takes me right to the Odyssey. I assume all of these are Sand Kingdom, right? Sand Kingdom, night fun. Doesn't night desert have wind in it? Yep, this is an 80% run. We're just going straight to the boss. Oh, Super Mario 2. We got Angry Sun. Do we have to fight the Sister Fister boss fight in this game? You know exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, and now we're going back up, but I don't have a key. Oh, there. Oh, curse key. Nice. Okay, well, just start running, brother. We can take one damage hit. Oh, and we don't even need to. Duck! He can't hiss. <laughs> they always read the jump. I've learned that from playing Super Mario 2 recently. Please, please just don't, don't fuck with me. Oh, that isn't, that isn't, that don't look right. Oh my God. This is so cool. This is such a genius way to use this power up. I also like putting the little rail there for reset doors. That really indicates what they are. Ooh, <laughs> I like this. I like this concept a lot. What is this? Oh, it's all the brutals. Okay. So they got all of them represented. Now we're finding Wendy, which is represents the, God, I don't remember her name. Bunny Lolly. Oh, every time that shell hits, I run out of time. That's such a cool way to do a timer for a boss fight. It sounds so funny, but it's nothing like the threat of dying to make you feel alive. Back to the Odyssey we go. God, that's so nice. To be on World 4 and only just now touching Wooded Kingdom, I assume? Oh, it's Wooded or Lake. It gave me a split path, just like Odyssey. But yeah, what I was saying was I'm surprised it's taken us this long to get to Wooded because I feel like they just really took their time with the others. And it's all, it's all quiet. What's the plot of this? Mario. Like, I know I talk about how Mario Maker is one of my favorite games ever, and God, that's so true. But imagine if they had Stretchy Boys. This game would be unrivaled. I think it's weird to put Mario Maker in, like, my top 10 games of all time. But you see the levels I create. It's not so much the levels I create, it's just that I'm willing to make them. Like, if I had this game as a kid, I would be all cracked up. I never would have had the motivation to do anything on YouTube, so... If anything, it's a blessing it didn't come out until I was a responsible adult. And when I say responsible adult, I mean kind of. Because, like, instead of being an adult who plays video games, I just feel like a child who pays taxes. Oh, and this is supposed to be the deep forest. 
which again, another part I always forget about because being an Odyssey speedrunner, you just run with the speed. I like how they gave this very industrial look because it is very reminiscent of Wooded Kingdom. Like I'm just very impressed throughout all of this. I really hope that they include like moon skips somehow in the ending because this is nice. Oh, and we got a coin. Wow, we have four of them. I was not even keeping track. Okay, let's just kill Goombas. Just, you know, a little bit of genocide in the morning, never hurt anybody. Except the ones who got genocided. Just like the Odyssey speedrun, you don't save the worlds, you just steal the resources from the world and move on with your life. Because if you really want to look at it, in Mario Odyssey, he isn't a hero. Mario's just a tourist. Oh, there's the boss fight. You know, we're just, uh... I, I think the shining part about Odyssey is that the water levels in that game are genuinely phenomenal. Like, you can have a water level in a 3D platform and make it slap, but yeah, this isn't your fault, man. <laughs> Goodbye, Boom Boom. Fuck you. I got a comment the other day from a, a good father named Scott, and he called me an absolute genius for saying swears over Mario. And Scott, I would like to formally apologize, for I have disgraced the great name of Super Mario, because as we all know, Mario doesn't say swears. And by the way, a little piece of spaghetti. Um, your overalls. <laughs> oh, Cloud Kingdom, I forgot about this. This is an actual Bowser fight. We must murder Bowser once and for all. So how clever can you be with this boss? Because I feel like fighting Bowser with like caps and everything is so different than what he's about to throw at me. What, 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 what is, hello? What is this? All right, Yao Ming. Have you always had hops like that? Bowser, I diagnose you with dead. Bro, I was just mashing. Just like playing Mario and Smash. Oh, and look, we have like little poison swamps around us because we're gonna crash and land in the Lost Kingdom. Oh, and then that's New Donk City. Look at it. This is really cool because they got to use the poison sludge. The level just wouldn't feel the same without it, you know? Oh, oh, look, they're like the little swaps. Oh my God, I get it. Because oh, normally you would ground pound on stuff and then it would swap and... I don't know how they do that, but that's so sick. And then I can sync this. That's also a really cool way to set up entrance. <gasps> and now I can go back to the big gate. Wow. Wait, if I hit the P switch, does it also rise that section? How? That's so... <laughs> the paths just form. That's just so... <laughs> this is one of the coolest things I've ever seen in a Mario Maker level. Absolutely. Oh, I just had faith. I just had faith. God, that sequence right there is unforgettable. I will never forget that as long as I play Mario Maker. I just can't believe no one's ever thought of doing just hub world levels in Mario Maker. I mean, I'm sure someone has, but I've just never seen them executed to such a great degree, I suppose. Ah, what, why? Oh, is it a condor? Oh, well, I, I still want to go home. <sighs> and at long last, we have made our way to New Donk City at night. Oh, it's daytime. Oh, they, yeah, they just said, forget the night. We're just going strong. Oh, it's all like scaffolding. Everything's being held up. It's good. Oh, they did such a good job with this one. I can already tell. Damn, this guy. Oh, he's made such great hub worlds and this takes the cake. Much like New Donk, it's just what sells the game, you know? Because like when people think back to Odyssey, they think about jumping around skyscrapers in New Donk City. Like this is definitely peak Mario Odyssey and please Nintendo. <gasps> oh, it's like bouncing on the car. Oh, because it makes a little honking noise whenever you do. That's so neat. I could never have made a level like this. It's just beyond me. I mean, I don't know what this is. What is this supposed to be? Oh, it's the movie theater. Cause you watch the movie and then you go into this 2D platformer. Ah, I, I see now. And I play Mario 1-1 one, one, and that's, ah, ha, ha, ha. It's honestly a shame too. Cause I know I'm not going to like go through each and every level. Cause there's so much in this. And people have already told me that there's like a Mario 64 version of this. and. Do you guys want to see this kind of video over that by chance? Oh, I forgot you can do the step on me move. Thank you, Mario. Very cool. You know what I just realized? I've never heard of anyone being horny for Mario. Like, obviously there's being horny for Peach, Bowser, and I've even heard Luigi, but why, why is anyone not horny for Mario? I don't know. I just never pondered something so profound until just now. Why aren't people allowed to thirst over Mario? Or better yet, why, why aren't people brave enough to do it? Do they just think they'll be judged? You ever just sit and wish that you could unsay like 60 seconds worth of content? Um, they got a ghost house. Don't know what that's for, but I will never play a ghost house if it's optional. 
Oh, it's the festival! Oh, uh, everything's upside down. That's so nice. When you play on this level and hear Jump Up Superstar in the background, nothing in Mario will ever top that moment from just an exclusively, like, a spectator's point of view. Because, yeah, of course, Darkest Side, Champion's Road, all of that, like, it feels so satisfying, but this? It just felt satisfying as an event. It was a ceremony. And they even put you upside down. That was so, so smart. All right, a checkpoint. Wait, is this like Odyssey? Because I remember there is a, a secret right here. And then the pipe. Mmm. Yeah, it just gave you this in a moon. That, that's all it was. But I'm glad that they recreated even little things like that. If I'm making this world, I'm so relieved when I get to this point because I just get to recreate it 1-1 one, one, and I don't even have to waste brain cells thinking. You know, of like what to create, not just remembering how to breathe and whatnot. Oh, it's Donkey Kong. I think they had coins that said DK in the original too, like in Odyssey. Oh, and there he is, my dad, Donkey Kong. Are these friends? Are they just here for the concert that's going on right now? Because I probably edited Odyssey music into it instead of Delfino Plaza. You agree with my editing choice there, right? It, it just doesn't feel the same. And now we're on to the latter part of the game, freezing our ass off over the six hour jump of Snow Kingdom God. What's so impressive is that with all these different levels, somehow the music has still always remained fitting. Oh, that's interesting, because to beat him, we don't have to beat him, we just have to take this and then break out. That's all they wanted from us. Yeah. Goomba. Oh, you stack the Goombas and don't die to the icicles. That's right. Dude, the scenery in this is just beautiful. Like, the world building is great. I know you guys sub for, like, a lot of funny ha-has, but are you fine if I just jerk off and gush over this world for the entirety of the video? Because if not, I, I feel like you should have clicked away a long time ago. Oh, wait, I see. I, I have to, to kill, kill him. Oh, oh, I gotta kill the right one. Oh, oh. Maybe murder wasn't the answer there. Okay, we did that. Optional ghost house, no thank you. Oh my God, it's volleyball. I just realized what they were representing. Okay, well, this looks significantly less scarring than pulling out your second controller for co-op. You know what's an accurate recreation when it still sucks ass? Yes, timer, I'm aware, I know. I guess making dragons hard. Or are they trying to tell me the Odyssey is broke? Luncheon feels like a hard kingdom to translate in 2D because everything in Odyssey, this is probably the most yippy wahoo land in all of it. Like, yes, new donkey fly around, but this, you zip zap zibbity bop and it just feels so right. Oh, that's a little fork. Okay, we're climbing our way up the side of the mountain. Like, yeah, this requires you to use your imagination a little bit. But you can still make it happen. Like, it still makes sense in my head. Oh, they're little forks! Oh, I remember this Odyssey level. Oh, it's... Oh, oh. I forgot, we're going in big mama chicken soup. Did we just step on it? I don't think I've ever fought a flying boom boom. All right, uh, well, I got the chalk, the chalk, the chalk zone, and I, I assume that's just the level. Well, that wasn't that bad. On to Bowser's we go! Do I just not remember how this game went? Are, are we doing... Ah! The dragon fight now? When you go outside the Odyssey, then they make you come back through it. That checkpoint's essentially just a cutscene skip. My favorite part about video games, waiting. Like, name a single better game mechanic. I'm just kind of confused at this point. I just don't know what they want from me. It just... Uh, all right. You've waited once, you've waited before, but you have never waited like this right... Just come on. This is so elaborate. For reasons I don't understand. I don't even know what this is supposed to be, because, like, it's supposed to be a dragon fight, but it's it's just not. I don't know what I'm supposed to do this for, but something just goes off in my brain to say I need to do that, but but, but for why? What do you want from me, game? <laughs> why? You ever had a kid show you a drawing and you're like, I don't know what it is, but we're putting it on the fridge. That's just how I feel. So remember that one time when I hit the P-switch? What if, <laughs> hear me out, I did it again! <laughs> Ooh, oh, cool. Okay, does it activate on the fire? Yes, it does. But what does this mean? <sighs> so after Ruined Kingdom, we then have actual Bowsers, right? I am impressed at the Odyssey guy because he continuously makes environments look like what they're referencing, which sounds like, yeah, no shit. <laughs> like he had to do that, but he did a good job of it is all I'm saying. 
I don't want to talk about it. The biggest problem here is that everything that's supposed to shoot the super leaves, they just don't do it now because once they blow their load, they're out for the day. Because, you know, those leaves are floating onward, upwards, infinitely, forever. And I am here. Suffering. Oh, it's like the bird. Oh my god, it spins. Okay, this part I recognize. Uh, I'll be honest and say a lot of it has been kind of unfamiliar to me, but this looks good. I'm just gonna, you know, take one for the team there. Because this is kind of like the, the Pokio, right? That's his name, the little bird. My favorite capture. He's such a cool guy. Oh my god, this shit again, huh? All right, come squish me, thwomp. God, do you think people out there got a thwomp fetish? Bowser, Bowser's not in this part. Oh, well, I guess today he is. Okay, oh, he just came to say hello and then he dipped. Okay, that's exactly like Odyssey, honestly. Okay, so, walla, walla, bing, bing, bang, please. Okay, this actually is not that hard. They did, wait, wait, P-Switch. How, how, who, what, when, why, where? Huh, well, that was uh, Bowser's and now, this is actually the end of Odyssey coming up. What's so funny is that I've absolutely forgotten that Moon Kingdom is like an actual kingdom, you know? Because in the speed run, you just kind of approach on the moon, go straight to Bowser, that's it. But we're probably actually gonna have like a boss rush dungeon. This would have been like the perfect time to have amiibo costumes. That's easily the biggest missed opportunity for this game that Mario or Mario Maker 1 had because Amiibo costumes really didn't do anything big. Super Mario Maker! I don't even know how many random characters. Just I'm going to put on screen some of the more random characters they had in Mario Maker 1. Super Mario Maker! What? So this is a good take on Moon Kingdom, honestly, because all the beginning of it is is just spike balls and then you just jerk off your controller and that's uh, not really an exaggeration. Okay, so this is the boss rush. Where's Moonskip? I, I know it's here. C come on. You have coins here. You know I want to skip up here. Like I would not actually entertain Moonskip if they didn't have coins right there. Oh, why, why do they have coins right there? What do they want for me? Yeah, there's no way he actually put like another intro. Okay, I was just hopeful. And now we go to the actual pit, which again, I cannot explain how much I constantly forget about this. What the hell was that? That's a really weird running start you gotta get. Cause you gotta make sure he's high. Oh, okay, well he's just dead now. Oh, it's a little Monty tank. Oh, that's cute. Such good ideas constantly all over the play. <laughs> I didn't think I made that. Okay, what do they want me to do here? Oh, moving platform. I thought I just had to like, oh, God. oh, well, oh, oh my God. What, 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 what? I, I'm missing something. I need to jump. I'm so stupid. So I probably need to like short hop. Yeah, you know, even that like isn't super easy, I would say. Cause like it's, if you crouch, well, okay, then just don't crouch is the answer. <laughs> whoa, whoa, okay, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Shit. Oh, and now I get to summon the little bullet bills. But honestly, Mario World Cape is is kind of stronger than any bullet bill. I'll just, uh, yeah, don't mind me. Oh, and it's another Mad and Brutal fight. Uh, am I just playing against the clock? Oh, I'm trying to have her murdered by my hitman Thwomp. That's I'm really gonna kill her dog and then her? God, that's just cruel and unusual. No, it's the wedding chapel. All the buildings look so good. I don't know how you make stuff like that. It genuinely baffles me. Oh, that's that's it. Okay, next time we murder Bowser in broad daylight. Bowser has now been murdered in broad daylight. We can now possess his dead corpse. Come on, Bow- Wait, oh, wait, this is even cooler. It's not like I'm possessing Bowser. I'm working with Bowser. I take it all back. I am officially Bowser. Captain's log. I am no longer Bowser. Oh, don't we need to be playing the other Odyssey song? You know, the one of two? And are we gonna have Big Bowser smash and bash and kill everyone in his path? Right? Wrong. Well, that's it for Super Mario Odyssey Maker 2 3D. If you guys have any other super worlds you want me to tackle, let me know in the comments. Uh, preferably ones that are, um, <clears throat> uh, what's the word, uh, good.